basically fault is a fractured chain fault is a fractured chain between the two blocks okay it's a fractured chain between the two blocks and fracture is related to the breaking of the blocks and the displacement so faulting is always related to the fracture fracture or breaking of the blocks and blocks and the displacement of the blocks okay first one is the fracture or breaking and second one is the displacement okay so the nature and amount of displacement depends upon the depend upon the strength of the fault okay so fault is related to two factors faulting fracture or breaking of the blocks and the displacement now come to the force for or energy is responsible for the any kind of faulting fault is basically due to the two kind of force first one is the compressional force and second one is the tensional force normally tensional force is one that pulls the material apart support suppose this is the object and tensional force pulls the material apart it moves away from the each other it pulls the material apart this is tensional force and what is compressional force here i would like to mention that folding is related to compressional force but extreme compressional force is responsible for the faulting compressional force is one that squeezes the material together that is compressional force they moves inward this is compressional force and so tensional force moves the material apart and it squeezes the materials so this is compressional force and this is the tensional force the compressional force and tensional force both are responsible for the any kind of fault fault faulting and faulting is related to two attributes that is fracture and breaking of the blocks and second is the displacement okay so now come to the default and the strike fault i have discussed a lot about what is deep and what is strike so i am not going in details about the discussion of the deep and strike okay suppose this is in block this is in block and support beds are those are the beds this is the deep and the alignment that line is the strike so i am not going in details uh so you can consult another of my video of geological map you can get clear idea about the strike and deep now come to the uh, deep fault and the strike fault normally fault which moves along the direction of the deep deep of the deep plate is called as a deep block the faulting suppose this is a block suppose this is a block okay suppose due to due to tensional force there is a crack the faulting occurs and i told that faulting is associated with the displacement and the breaking after breaking of the block the blocks displaced displaced along the deep of the bed along the direction of the deep that is known as deep fault deep fault may be normal fault and may be reverse fault suppose if this is a normal fault normal fault is also a deep fault and the reverse fault also the deep fault deep fault may be two types normal fault and reverse fault suppose this is the bare, this is a block and this is the crack zone after fracturing there is a displacement displacement occurs along the deep suppose those are the rock bed those are the bed those are the bed those are the bed suppose those are the beds here the alignment of bed is deep of the bed is or deep direction is 
that type okay here the due to this is tensional force t for tension t for tension and blocks this is tensional force and after breaking up the blocks there is a moment that moment or displacement occurs along the displacement follow the direction of the dip of the bed okay this is the dip of the bed direction occurs along the dip of the bed that's why it is called as a default okay deep here the deep default basically related to the direction of the deep and the the displacement occurs along the direction of the deep that's why it is called default it is normal default and reverse fall also the default you know we are all familiar is that the reverse fall is due to the compressional force suppose this is compressional force and the after after extreme compressional force there is a breaking of the blocks after the breaking of the blocks suppose those are the alignment of rock here the displacement occurs here the displacement follow the direction of the bed here displace in that way and it is also the default and it is a also the reverse fault so default basically may be due to compression or deep may be due to tensional force may be reverse fault or may be uh, normal fault but displacement direction displacement direction followed the direction of the diff that's why it is called as a default now come to the question of strike fault okay what is strike fault okay strike strike fault strike fault suppose this is in block this is in block suppose this is the a a point is the crack okay and here the alignment of beds are this type okay here here this is the strike line this is the strike line okay if the displacement after the breaking of the block due to compression or tension after the breaking of the block displacement occurs along the strike line along the horizontal plane along the strike line known as strike fault therefore default default as well as strike fault both are fault both are called as a deep sleeve fault and strike sleep fault <coughs> that's the means displacement follow the deep direction of the deep and here the slip means the displacement follow the direction of the strike okay suppose this is an crystal blocks this is the strike line this is the strike line here after the cracking or after the breaking the displacement follow the strike direction that that's why it is known as strike that is slip slip is the displacement fault this is also strike displacement fault and this is also the strike displacement fault so let's have a looks of a comparative looks of default and strike fault here the displacement is north towards ups and downs and it is also ups and downs and it is horizontal this is the basic difference between the deep slip fault and strike slip fault slip is nothing but the displacement displacement along the strike line along the follow the direction of strike here the displacement follow the direction of deep okay uh, basically uh, basically the faulted blocks moves horizontally or along the strike is known as strike slip fault 
it may be right lateral fold and left lateral fold okay another thing is the slick and side what is slick and side okay next one is the slick and side what is slick and side slide side suppose it's it's maybe normal fold or reverse fold maybe strike fold or deep fold suppose this is a fold plane okay this is the fold plane slick and slide is nothing but the smooth polished surface this surface is smooth and polished polished surface due to the frictional force due to the frictional force when the displacement occurs there is a friction between the two blocks due to frictional force that part becomes smooth of smooth and the polished and this fold plant may be in deep fold and may be in stripe fold is known as slick and side.